aquaculture is the farming of fish. Uh, it involves both ownership of the stock and some sort of intervention in the rearing process. So that's what differentiates it from fishing, from wild harvest fishing. Um, my involvement in Karoo Catch goes back to close to the beginning, not the very beginning, but close to the beginning, where I was running an aquaculture course and the founder, Liesl, and her husband uh, attended the aquaculture course and a couple of months later she attended a practical aquaculture course and uh, after that invited me to play a role with them and currently I serve as the technical director in the company. Twelve years ago we moved back to South Africa from Tanzania and we moved on to a small holding. We looked at vegetables, we looked at herbs, we looked at a whole range of, of different opportunities and ended up settling on fish farming. We were about three quarters of the way through designing how we thought the project could work when we came across the statistics relating to South Africa's pilchard quota and how it had dropped so drastically where um, in 2004, we could, we could take 457,000 tons of fish out of the sea and now we're limited to 24,000 tons. So it's a 95% drop in, in the fish that we can take out of the sea, which is, is a massive food security crisis besides anything else. But it also opened up a huge opportunity for developing new businesses and, and creating new jobs. And so what was a, initially a tiny little project then became quite a complicated business plan, which then had to include processing and, and looking beyond just the farming operations. Um, we then identified that a lot of the businesses that had been set up previously failed because they just looked at farming and didn't look beyond the farming. IDC did a survey around about the same time where they said 89% of South Africa eats pilchards or demands pilchards. The South Africa Low Emissions Development Program is a USAID funded program that deploys technical assistance at the sub-national level. In order to support the low carbon goals of the country, we work with the Department of Environmental Affairs and Science and Technology. As such, the two mandates that we adhere to are greenhouse gas mitigation and development impact. We deploy technical experts locally and internationally to, to provide the best possible uh, expertise to the projects to move them, them along the low emissions project development process. We had the good fortune of being introduced to the Karoo Catch Incubator in around 2015 by the Provincial Department. And as such, we've built a very good productive relationship with Karoo Catch and we've started staggering technical assistance over about three years. SA-LED provided technical assistance to the installation of a pilot wastewater repair system integrated with an anaerobic digester. And the idea there is to improve the resource efficiency, water and energy efficiency of the aquaculture system. The experts that USAID provided meant that the funds available from the provincial department for the system could be used for hardware rather than for professional inputs. Interestingly, the system provides examples of the circular economy and also of biomimicry. The solar system again provides an example of how the aquaculture can produce protein in a less carbon intensive way. Uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and fossil fuel inputs to food production. We've also developed a co-benefits analysis and that analysis assesses the main impacts of jobs, youth, gender and environmental impact related to the technical assistance that we provide. Once the incubator is successful we need to know uh, how we measure that success and, and that success is really based on three pillars. We, we obviously uh, remain with our, our social responsibilities in terms of the empowerment of our, our people and the community. And for us, empowerment is not just about the traditional uh, economic transformation, but also skills transfer, um, things like self-respect, um, family values, those sort of things are also important in terms of transforming uh, communities and, and transforming people's lives. And then I think the other social delivery for us is food security. It's uh, really underestimated the crisis that the world is facing, in, in particularly in terms of sustainable protein. And uh, it's important that this incubator proves that uh, one can uh, uh, viably deliver sustainable protein. And then the third thing I think is important for us is that we can't just do social delivery. We actually have to deliver economically. And, and the reason for that is just simply that we have to be a sustainable business to continue to deliver 
uh, those social benefits. So that's the journey, the commercial journey that we've sort of embarked on since November. Uh, we've made some good strides there. Uh, in the beginning, it's important obviously for us to improve our capacity on the farm, which we've done. Um, and, and we hope to have about nine tunnels running in the next sort of 12 to 18 months. I started working at Karukech in March 2011, where we did aquaculture training, where I trained on how, uh, on how to breed a fish and how to actually raise a fish. So what I'm doing now here is that I'm also a trainer here where I'm doing the aquaculture training where I'm, I am teaching the people what I have done. So they are doing from the beginning of how to, to, to rear a fish until the fish is grown up for processing. I was a stay-at-home mother, so I heard about this opportunity here uh, from a ward counsellor. And then I applied for it and I was accepted and then we started in 2011. And this is an ongoing training. It's not when you finish it's done. No, it's ongoing up till now. At the moment now I am public relations director. So it's definitely enriching and empowering us. That is why we, what we actually stand for is empowering our people. What we're doing you know, is like a soccer tournament. We score them on a weekly basis, like on performance. The reason why we're giving prizes is to make them excited. When I see now the tunnel is neat, clean, and I can say no, a 10 for the week. That is how we're doing our elevations on the real person or in inside the tunnels. I train the people here at Karukic, train them how to dissect the fish and how to fillet the fish and how we're actually doing de-skinning and how we're processing it into a final product like fish balls, kids burgers. Some of those products we give it to the community. The people in hospital, we also provide them and they were very actually excited to receive the product from Karukech. The other area I think that we are looking at um, that's also very exciting is what additional opportunities we can create downstream uh, if I could call it on the demand side of our supply chain for SMME development and, uh, um, and creating business opportunities for people on the, on the fine distribution side. We're doing research and development on um, uh, uh, handheld applications or mobile applications that we can create a fine distribution network based on asset sharing and based on technology and payment solutions to actually get our product out to the market at a better price and then also creating um, opportunities, new business opportunities for, for, for additional people.